Hi there, I'm Dr. Albert Chung and welcome to your friendly proctologist. I'm here to give you real, helpful, and useful information because I want all of us to be better. The next thing is I want you to keep learning so that you can stay better. Isn't that just as important? I certainly think so. And so today we're going to start a new journey with a tight anal muscle or anal spasm or tight pelvic floor or anismus as it's also called okay and i'm going to be presenting to you a list of 10 things to look out for to see if you might have that going on a little bit of background here is that the internal anal muscle or the pelvic floor all both of these combined are under unconscious control. And that means that if you could relax these muscles when they're tight, you wouldn't be going to a doctor. You wouldn't have any issues. But we're not born to have that connection. We don't exactly know if we're relaxed or not. And if it is tight, to just command it to chill out and relax. And so that's where the difficulty comes in and then the symptoms can show up later on in life, right? So let's get on with the list and be careful here. I want to list some disclaimers. Sorry, one more thing. The first thing is that you may not have all of these symptoms and some you may just have a few but you may still have an issue with a tight muscle. The next thing, number two, is that some of these symptoms here may also be from other conditions like cancer, okay? I hate to say it, but it's the honest truth. We need to be examined by a medical professional, preferably a specialist like myself who knows the anus inside and out so that we can make sure you don't have something that needs to be treated in a different way, right? Okay, so here goes the list. Number one. Do you have to wait a long time to start pooping? So you sit down the toilet after you get the urge, but you hear so many people that get things done or accomplish so quickly. Why do you have to sit there and kind of sit there and wonder like, what is going on? I feel the urge. I know the poop is knocking right on the door, but the gate won't open. It's either I'm going to have to sit there, maybe you have to do a lot of deep breathing, maybe I've got to meditate, maybe I've got to think about something pleasant, or I've just got to start pushing. And then once I get the beginning open, then it starts to come out. If you're sitting there a long time, like men need to sit there, like they got prostate issues and they can't pee, that might be a sign of a tight muscle. Number two, when you fart, is it a ripping loud fart? Just like a muscle car ripping down the drag strip? Like you stepped on a whoopee cushion, for example? If that's the case, your muscle may be very tight and you're probably pushing quite a bit to get that fart or that gas out. What's happening is your anus muscle is closing and opening to let just a little bit of air through at a time and it's flapping open and close to make that ripping noise, okay? If you get the um, breezy type of noise like a <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that, but that's what it sounds like when air freely passes through a hole, right? Like your bottom end. If you get both types of farts, you probably notice that when you have the really quiet, silent, but deadly ones, that the anus is a lot more relaxed and you're probably not pushing it barely, if at all. Number three. Do you have to push once you sit down the toilet to have a poop? And we kind of talked, that, er, talked about that earlier before, but you may notice that once you sit down, the gate is completely shut closed, okay? And you may not necessarily have to push where your eyeballs are popping out of your head, but you do have to give some extra force. If you don't do it, nothing happens. It's just like quiet on the seafront. You may even notice that with harder poops that you have to push harder. And it's because the poop has to stretch out that bottom end, stretch out that anus and make it bigger to fit the poop. Once you got it all the way through, then maybe things will come out easier. But definitely if the anus is squeezing hard the entire time, you may have to push 
the entire length of that poop. And so if you find that pushing is a normal part of your pooping routine, that could be a sign. Number four, is your poop thin like a pencil? Now, this assumes that you have some softer texture stools, right? Because if you have boulders or bricks coming out of your bottom, and that's not something that is going to be compressed by a muscle of your anus, right? But if you have softer stools, you might notice that it's like a shoestring coming out of your bottom end. Why is that happening? Well, it's because your anus is not stretching open. It wants to be closed and it will do as much as it can to stay closed, okay? The anus is trying to protect you. It does not want to poop or anything to go by there. And so if you're pushing poop in there, it's like a Play-Doh machine. You have a big pile of Play-Doh, you put it through the machine, and what comes out are tiny little noodles. If your anus was more relaxed, it can open that hole more, and you can have much wider caliber, bigger, thicker poops. Number five, do you feel like your poop stream so things are coming out the flow is going but then all of a sudden someone just puts the kibosh on someone just slams the door shut on you and it could be a complete surprise completely unexpected but you don't seem to have control of it hey that's an anal spasm that's happening right at that moment okay the anus really doesn't want anything going by it feels irritated and so the muscles what will they do to protect you it will shut things down right mid flow and oh my gosh that could be one of the worst uncomfortable things because why you feel like you have a lot more poop left to go Okay, the body is pushing down in a coordinated motion, but the anus says, no, we are not doing anymore. So that feeling like you got poop left, but you can't get it out is still stuck in there. And it's awful feeling, I know. But this could be a sign that your muscles are too tight. You might have some spasming going on. Number six is that when you sit down, you feel like you're sitting on something. You know that you have, your cushion is flat. There isn't any bumps in it. But when you sit down, you're like, why does it feel like I'm sitting on a grape or some kind of rock? You actually feel like there's something hard inside your bottom end. And when you touch the outside, there's nothing there. But there's something a little bit deeper in you probably in your anus that you feel that's like what the heck is that so try sitting on a hard surface like a hard wooden chair if you feel that great great knot inside your bottom end it could be a very very tight and flexed tensed anal sphincter muscle number seven is that sometimes this pain could last all day long and usually it gets worse after you have the bowel movement some people feel like the pain lasts for just 30 minutes other people may have it for eight hours some people have it 24 7 and it's not unusual okay um the thing is is when the muscle is spasming out and freaking out it is contracting with a very injured muscle and that's where the pain is coming from okay it's as if you lifted with your bicep 500 a 500 pound weight for three hours okay you know that muscle is going to be screaming at you it's going to say it hurts i can't even lift a bag of groceries your anus is doing the exact same thing it's staying flexed all day long it's doing a lot more work than it should be and therefore it's going to start screaming at you when it's hurt sign number eight is this pain may wake you up at night okay or you may get this pain just very randomly at certain points of the day so you may all of a sudden get this gripping unrelenting severe pain that just shoots up like a mountain and just makes your eyes wide open in the middle of the night and you gotta take a sits bath you gotta take pain medication right at that moment because it's just there's nothing else that can get rid of it you just have to wait it out and you need to use things to help you but if you feel that down your rectum area or in your anus it could be your anus muscle or your pelvic floor 
spasming out, okay? If you sometimes the people tell me also they're just watching a movie at night, they're sitting down, relaxed, having a good time, all of a sudden it's just pow! You feel this huge contraction, the same thing like I described before, and it's just like you gotta excuse yourself because you're just suffering right at that moment. Again, it could be that muscle just squeezing all of a sudden and getting trying to just get a huge grip and causing that pain signal to ring out. Number nine. When you describe the pain that you're having, or at least when I do that with my patients in my office, the number one word that comes up to describe this anal spasm pain is a burning sensation, okay? And this is amazing to me because I know no one's talking to each other. The, the internet is not good at describing this condition at all, but burning, that word is number one. Everyone seems to say it. So if you feel like there's something burning, a real bad soreness, like there's a fire, there's something going on that just won't let up, you might have this going on. Finally, number 10 is that you have bleeding or you may have a fissure show up even though you have a soft poop. So you watch my videos on how to have a soft poop and so your textbook, you should like, I'm fine, I should be good. Everything in my anus, my hemorrhoids, my anal fissures should be totally fine, right? But the thing is, is that you drop a deuce in the toilet, it's textbook soft, but the thing is, is that you still see blood in the toilet bowl or on your tissue paper. You're like, what the heck is happening? I'm doing everything right. And let me tell you, it's it could be because the muscle is squeezing so hard on the poop going through it, right? But even though it's soft, it's still squeezing super hard. And that friction, that heat that's building there is creating destruction or, or injury to the hemorrhoids and the inside lining, which is very fragile, right? It's like sandpaper rubbing on your hemorrhoids and they're gonna get pissed they may feel swollen after you poop and then the other thing is on the outside lining it's still very fragile that makes a rip or a crack or it irritates a fissure or wound that was already there and so you feel discomfort and pain you're like gosh I'm really frustrated I don't know what's going on why is it always hurting so bad and so that could be another sign that your anal spasm is causing symptoms so I encourage you to play this video a few times and really examine to see, do I have this going on? Maybe take a journal down and write down your symptoms and your experience. You may not have ever thought about your pooping in this much detail. I can almost guarantee that. And so it's time to really dig in and try and see what your habits are like. See if this could be a part of your issue because we're gonna get into more videos in the future on how to treat this problem okay so i wish you well i hope this video was helpful take care bye bye